Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on Rob's MX-5 turbo build. This is episode 3, so we're making good progress now. Today we will be installing the oil lines, the water lines, the intercooler and also doing the wiring for the IAT. The turbo needs to be supplied with oil. The oil feed is taken from the original oil pressure sensor which is underneath the inlet manifold. We then install the supplied adapter from the kit with some thread sealant. I've used PTFE tape in this case. That hole there attaches to the oil return lines which goes to the turbo. This end needs to go back inside the block. We then install this back to the block and then fit the oil line with the supplied banjo bolts and copper washers. Now we have all the lines installed, you just need to verify that the turbo actually is getting oil. So I'm just going to use a little cup under there and then I'm going to hold it under there whilst the mate cranks it. And we should see a flow of oil hopefully. Now we have oil, we also need uh, coolant so the turbo can survive. So as soon as all these two banjo bolts with barb fittings, they start onto the turbo just on those two holes. So for the kit then we're gonna be removing this tiny hose which goes behind the power steering pulley from the thermoset housing. So this part here from the top we'll connect to the uh, inlet of the turbo then the outlet will come back down and connect to that fitting just down there. We then install the hose for the oil return. Next we need to install the intercooler, so we start by removing the bumper. Front air dam and under tray will also need to be removed when fitting the intercooler. The kit says to drill two 12mm holes. The intercooler lines up nicely with two original holes so we expanded these. Using the supplied bolts, we attach the intercooler with help from resident MX-5 specialist Ollie, who knows a lot about MX-5s. We then attach the supplied silicon hoses to the intercooler.
slight issue with the um, intake side, well, no, the tur sorry, the turbo side of this hose. So it seems to be getting caught between the power steering pump and the pipework for that. So I've just taped it up for now. I'm just going to go back to the manufacturer and ask them some questions about it, basically. So we'll see what happens with that. Right, so you've just probably seen us just uh, clamp up the intercooler. Um, so this pipe, what I've done is I've just released the power steering clamps and I've just rotated the power steering pump out of the way. The pipe for the power steering out of the way, sorry. Um, you can see here that this pre-clocked turbo is actually slightly out um, and that's why we are butting right up against this. So I'm hoping that's going to do for now, and then I can re get it reclocked later because there is actually quite a nice gap here where, if it was just a couple of degrees this way, if it would line up really nice. So it's a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, also the intercooler pipes are quite close to the anti-roll bars, but I'm hoping that's not going to be too much of an issue. Something I'll check when the car is back on the ground. So last but not least, we have to wire up. Um, the air temp sensor. So in the kit you'll get a link of wire, a plug on the end. And we need to make up this connection to the original um, air temp sensor wiring. So by just cutting off this plug, we can solder these together, extend the loom below on the left hand side of the intercooler, which is just already pre-installed up there. Now it says in the, in the instructions that this does not matter which um, which way round you wire these. So pink and black can go to whatever. I'll do red to pink and black to black just to give myself peace of mind. Let's get some heat shrink then. Let's make my life a little bit easier. I mean, some people don't like this. I don't really care. I'm just gonna twist the wires together. Like that. <laughs> you dirty bugger. You dirty bugger.
Falcon? Should we go? Um, so you want to get as far away from the belts as possible. Well, we go, I reckon we we'll go over the top of the belts. Here. Over the top of here. We go down under here. The red bracket down there, I think. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, because you can cable tie it to the bracket. Yes. So we're going to go down there. The bracket just there. So guys, there we have it. Wires all cable tied up neatly. And out of the way, we just went through this little hole in the chassis rail here, just to keep it away from the radiator with the excess. It's all cable tied to the original loom. Another job well did. Coming towards the end of the build, um, a couple of things left off the top of my head is injectors. Um, and the boost controller. So that will be up next. And then after that, it's pretty much just waiting for the delivery of the ECU. It's all the ECU and the wide band sensor. Load of base map, fill it with coolant, change the oil. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Remember to drop a like and subscribe to see all the future episodes coming up on this turbo build. Uh, probably two more episodes coming. Yeah, at least. I yeah, think. two more episodes. Plus, we got my Mark 1, that as soon as this is done, my Mark 1's coming in here and getting a few mods as well. So if you love MX-5s as much as we do, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay hydrated. And it's cold out there, so wear a coat.